My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Hey, we've got a 1969 Buick GS 400 four-speed car. Very rare. They made about 785 four speeds uh, in the 69 GS 400. Beautiful color. I say it every time. I'm a sucker for this blue and uh, just a nice, clean, honest car. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, get all the information, pictures, top to bottom of this car and a few hundred other cars. And all the prices are listed on our website. So visit volocars.com. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the little bell icon, that way you'll be notified every time we put a video up, you'll be the first to see it. But right now, join me, let's go for a spin in a four-speed Buick GS 400. Isn't that a good looking car? That thing looks like it could just slip right through the wind tunnel there. It's just so uh, fast sitting still. I like the the subtle hood scoops that is functional ram air and then the body line and the the roof line it's just so slick it just looks like it would again just slice right through the air uh, it's twilight blue it was born this color it seems to be a really good honest car uh, underneath the car is really nice the floors the frame all Nice satin black. Somebody cleaned it up really well. Doesn't look like it was rusty. All the metal is smooth. Uh, so the bottom is painted real nice. The front end's completely rebuilt. Uh, ball joints, bushings, shocks. Uh, looks like the back end's rebuilt too. Looks like new bushings in the control arms, new shocks. It has the ride and handling package, uh, which is sway bars front and back and boxed uh, rear control arms. Also has the big uh, Buick thinned aluminum brakes front and back. The brakes have all been redone. You can see new hoses, new lines. I think the e-brake cables look new. Looking up at the motor, the bottom of the motor, uh, it was a rebuilt engine and it still looks spotless on the bottom. The whole transmission is spotless like you could eat off of it. It's an M24 speed wide ratio trans. It was professionally rebuilt. Uh, it has a posi uh, rear end in it. New fuel tank, sending unit, and straps. Uh, so the bottom of the car is really nice. The top of the car, the paint shows really well. It's not a, a, a 10, it's just a really nice looking paint job. Again, the color is fantastic. It has a clear coat that's very wet and shiny. Uh, absolutely straight. What I'm seeing right now is just like a mirror. There's no ripples, no waves. Bottom of the fender is all metal. This is all smooth. There are no bubbles down here. It's all clean. The inside of the door where the skin folds over is real nice and clean. The door handles and uh, the wheel well moldings look new. The rest of the trim looks original. The emblems, the bumpers, this is original. There is a little bit of uh, you know, flaking chrome on the top edge there, a little bit of pitting in the trim. So the ri original chrome is about average. Fits really nice. The glass is real nice. The mesh speaker tray is real nice. This side's real clean and straight, just like the other side. All fits really nice. So you got good, clean metal body with a, a very nice looking paint job. Uh, the mirror looks like it might be new. The windshield's crystal clear like it's new. The wheels. 15-inch Buick Mag wheels, extra wide, especially in the back. Those are some monster uh, BF Goodrich tires back there on those Buick rims. They look like they're new. All original. So there's a little tarnish here, a little rust on top of the bumper here. So it's all original trim. It has all four T3 original headlamps. Original antenna. This is like the bottom of the car. This is all detailed, restored. This is beautiful. Uh, it is a 455 lower end. So the pistons, the block, it's all rebuilt. It's 10 to 1. It's got a 212 cam. I, I don't even know what that is, but it's written in the notes. So the motor's rebuilt. It's a 455 block and all the internals. 
the top end, the heads, the intake is the original 400 uh, parts that came with the car. It's got the complete ram air assembly with new foam. It's even got the heat riser tube going down to the exhaust manifold. The window seals are real nice. Jams are glossy. All the weather strips replaced. Sill plates are new. Interior lights work. When I say the paint's not perfect, there's a little dust in the paint. If you knew how to wet sand and buff, you can make it even better. There are a few minor imperfections, but overall it looks great. Uh, I'm going to say this is a virgin rust-free trunk. I don't see any patches, no signs of rust or fiberglass. I was looking up in the quarters. I don't see any seams or cuts or welds. So I believe it's the original quarter. So really clean metal. It's been spatter painted completely, and they clear coated it. So the spatter is nice and durable. The jam, the bottom of the trunk lid's painted real slick. New weather strip. The interior is all original. So there is a little uh, split in the headrest. There's two different headrests in the trunk, so I imagine uh, those can go on the car. Uh, and there's a split in the bottom seat cushion. The carpet is new and the glove box liner is new. The dash area is really nice. It's exceptional. The instrument panel, the knobs, the original Buick radio, that all sparkles. Back to the motor compartment. It has power steering and a lot of new components. The alternator, HEI ignition with 8.5 millimeter wires, new master cylinder. There's still a sticker on the wiper motor. The radiator, the clutch fan, the shroud is new. Uh, it has spring clamp battery cables and a gel cell battery. Uh, aluminum water pump, and this is detailed up. All painted, nice, tidy, uh, rebuilt carburetor. So that's show quality motor. Interior lights work, has the original Buick floor mats. Dash pad is very nice. There are some cracks in the original steering wheel. Headliners mint, uh, real nice and tight and straight. So you got an original interior. Uh, probably want to uh, reupholster the driver's seat. If these headrests uh, work, this one's in nice shape. It looks the same, so you can just swap out that bad headrest. We start it up for you. Uh, this is a cold start. This thing hasn't been started since yesterday, so hopefully it doesn't embarrass me. Uh, it does have a mini tachometer and two gauges under the dash, neatly installed. And like I said, the instrument panel is really nice. The mirror is real nice. The visors are mint. It has all the seat belts. I don't even think I touched the gas. Oh yeah, it's got a Borla stainless steel custom exhaust. I just not warmed up yet it's a small room i don't want to let it run too long but it idles just fine uh, it's original door panels they're good they're a little bit warped so good honest car the bottom side in the motor compartment is exceptional the body and paint i think is beautiful the chrome is a little weak um, the interior is good original there you have it. It's a great looking, unique muscle car that's very affordable. Seems like cars in this price range and in this condition have been selling really fast. Go to volocars.com and check it out. Any questions you have, plenty of ways to contact us on the website. The salesman will walk you through it. They'll go for a test drive and video it. They'll answer whatever questions we can. So make sure you ask any questions you have. We can help with financing, shipping. Uh, just let us know how we can help at volocars.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll see these videos first 
as we put them out there. Thanks for watching.